Good morning. It's great to be with you this morning and speak to you about the reputation of hospitality. So when you um, hear the word hospitality, what do you think? Things like the following um, come into my mind. Church, people I know, friends, family, hello and welcome. Would you like a coffee? Strangers, where are you from? There are loads of thoughts coming into our heads when we think about the word and the principle of of hospitality. But before we carry on, let's pray. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to minister this morning um, and to be together with the body of Christ. Although we are all in our different locations, Father, we are one and we celebrate life together. And um, we are passionate, Lord, about knowing you and loving people and impacting our world. Please open our hearts and open our minds as we share the word together this morning. Amen. I want to look at three scriptures this morning to to reference to the the reputation of hospitality. The first one is Romans 12 verse 13, which reads, Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. 1 Peter 4 verse 9 says, Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. That means with a joyful heart. Hebrews 13 verse 2 says, Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without even knowing it. Just to give some context, In all three of these verses, the root word for hospitality is the same. But they are used in the Greek language as either a noun or an adjective. So the adjective means to be generous and to be a lover of hospitality. And the noun means to be a lover of strangers in the context of being hospitable. So being hospitable involves a few things in order to be seen as being hospitable or expressing the gift of hospitality. I believe deeply that all of us have the gift of hospitality. Some less than others. But it's definitely connected to our true identity that we have in Christ. In 1 Timothy 1 verse 12 we read, of the act of service we have been appointed to by Christ. So being hospitable is an act of service. It is so ingrained in the person of Jesus that we, the ones made in his image, cannot escape from that. It's like being woven into our beings. Jesus was the ultimate example of serving those around him and being hospitable to others, showing an act of service. For example, making the water into wine at the, at the wedding, the fishes, the fishes and the loaves that fed the 5,000, the lady at the well, the disciples that cast their nets and filled them with food, the parable of the sower, the parable of the lost coin, the prodigal son, the good Samaritan, The list continues of the the underlying act of service in the life and the example of Jesus. And all these references have connection to the root word of hospitality, which is service. And service is ministry. In fact, he created a meal so that we can always remember together that He was the ultimate gift for us and that we are made in His image, the communion. So what does hospitality mean and what does it involve in order to be recognized as being hospitable? It involves people. You need to be able to to connect to a person or a group of people to express the gift of hospitality. It involves generosity, 
because you have to give something. Your hand needs to open. Your watch needs to stop. You need to be able to, to live from a space of being generous towards loved ones and strangers. It involves offering somebody a place to stay. It might not be a, a place to, to, to sleep over in, just a place for their souls to rest. It might involve strangers, someone you've never met before, or loved ones that's close to you, to express a gift of hospitality towards people, change the way they experience a situation. And it normally involves food or the preparation of food. There's something about sitting around a table, sharing a meal and sharing life together. Ministry happens when there's something to digest, something to, to get your teeth into. And it might not be physical food, but it can also be the Word of God. Ministry happens when we to digest the Word of God together, when we pray together, when we share life and share experiences. Testimonies is one of the strongest ways of being hospitable because you share service and ministry through, what, through your own experiences. 1 Timothy 1 verse 12 says, I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has given me strength that he considered me trustworthy and appointed me to his service. The Passion Translation says it beautiful. It, it says, My heart spills over with thanks to God for the way he continually empowers me. When something spills over, it's so full, there's no more room. So, Timothy says, my heart spills over with thanks, with gratefulness to God for the way he continually, he doesn't stop, he continually empowers me. And to our Lord Jesus, the anointed one, who found me to be trustworthy and who authorized me to be his partner in ministry. So the word service, as you can see in the Passion Translation, is ministry. And in this context, and working from the Greek language, the word ministry relates to four concepts. The first one is to execute the commands of others. So to, to, to minister as an act of service, as hospitality, is to execute the commands of others. Like, God's, like someone had to say, let there be light. Cast your nets. The act of service, is this act of service is coming from a level of leadership, of vision, of growth, of seeing the bigger picture. So you execute the commands of others. The second one is to proclaim the goodness of God. To proclaim God's character and God's steadfastness and the content character of which, he, of which He displays to us on a daily basis through being an ev evangelist. To tell others about the goodness of God. Being a prophet to encourage others through the words and the thoughts of God. By being an apostle, the one who we sent to bring the good news. And by being an elder, those who are appointed to take a role of leadership and shepherding in order to display the gift of hospitality. So we can proclaim the goodness of God through executing the, um, the commands of others through being an evangelist, a prophet, an apostle, an elder. Then there is um, a third one is to meet the needs of those less fortunate than us. 
so to minister to those who have less than you. And it, it, it does not mean that you are better than them. It's to minister to people who have less than you in a certain area. So, so that this doesn't only mean physical needs. We are called to minister to all people. So I can minister to you today through this um, sermon. But tomorrow, I lack in an area where you can minister to me. When I have less than you, and I'm part of the community of believers, I should be able to expect the gift of hospitality, of service, to flow from you to me. And you should expect the gift of hospitality to flow from me to you. The fourth one, um, which relates to ministry and service, is to prepare and present food. It means to prepare and present food literally. Okay? The, the Greek reference for that is to prepare and present food. But to be in a position where people are fed because of the ministry flowing through you. The service given by you. Um, I've got the privilege to work with the, the Kingston Food Bank and we have over 100 volunteers and each of those people even if they pack a tin in a crate, is acting through the gift of hospitality to prepare food for somebody else. There's an act of service and an act of ministry happening in this borough every single day because of the generosity and the, the realization of who we are, of this ministry, flowing through the people in Kingston. But the question is not, how will you do this and how will you, what will you do to make it happen? The question is, are you ministering the gift of hospitality that is inherent a part of you? Because Jesus died and he rose, I carry his characteristics. I carry the DNA of the one who, who died for me. And part of that is to be hospitable, to be able to, to, to sacrifice and to give service. Jesus told his, his stories, he, he told that these stories because it was possible for us to relate to them. It wasn't the airy fairy reflection of a man who climbed Mount Everest with a tutu playing the harmonica while doing a TikTok dance with hilarious subtitles. Thinking about that, it, it could be a good one. It was actually the thoughts and the reflections of the one in whose image we were made. The one who said, let there be light. The one who said, have some and share it. The one who said, go and feed the hungry, the one who said, gather the lost, is the same one. And we are made in this image. We, as community, are the carriers of the noun and the adjective relating to the principle of hospitality. The, the, the reputation of hospitality is flowing through us. Are we directing the overflow to the correct channels? So my prayer is that, that we as a church, as city changers, as God's people, will always be recognized as the ones that's famous for being hospitable, to carry a, a reputation of goodness and of grace, open doors. It gives people joy and it gives people a, a, a level of contentness in what you do because we aim to do everything through the, through the knowledge of knowing God, 
Knowing God is understanding His Word, understanding where His thoughts came from, so I can slot into that. Loving people, sharing, caring, being hospitable, and impacting my world. Because I realize God's opinion over me, because I, I act in a hospitable way towards people, I can impact my world. I can make a difference. Although I think it's small, the bigger picture involves the words, let there be light. So let's live towards having a wholesome reputation and live from a, from a, from a, a root and a foundation of being hospitable and loving being that. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that that we can have the realization of who you are and that we are part of that, Lord. We are part of the, of the big picture. Um, when you said, let there be light, you saw us and you saw the gifts and the skills that we can bring into the picture. You gave us the ability, Lord, to be hospitable and to function from an, from a, an act of service and ministry towards your people. May, you re may we realize every day the word that you've spoken over us and the reality of change that will come in and around us as city changes in being hospitable. Amen.